light has broken our ranks! Our assault has been for nothing. Welcome back everybody to another all things nerd video today we are in the battle for lordaeron uh the lordaeron runes of lordaeron whatever you want to call it the battle for lordaeron scenario in bfa and today we're going to be getting out of bounds and we're going to go take a look around the surrounding area i am super excited for this one because i'm assuming we might go see some classic stuff maybe i don't know who knows um yeah i've actually never did this scenario before i didn't play i i and I, be, I believe this belonged to bfa right so i didn't actually play in the bfa expansion too much i did play the beginning of it and then i kind of left and then i came back so where i'm currently at is right over here off the shore of the map now I'll, I'll i'll be honest with you guys straight up i've already been out of the map a little bit explored just a little bit but i wanted to save the rest of the surprises with you guys because i wanted to be here with you as we go take a look around and see things for the first time um when you come outside the map like if you come this way or you come this way you're gonna hit a ton of walls i'm just warning you now so from like right here all the way to like right here in this area you'll you'll get you'll hit walls all the way through here all you gotta do is just do what i'm doing here and just keep jumping past them and then you'll hit another wall jump past them and then you'll hit another wall um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep doing this until i get to the no more walls over here i want to go see scarlet monastery um okay apparently i jen grayman again Draymond, he just activated he was speaking in the background anyways uh i'm gonna get over here outside the map and then i will be right back because i don't want to have to you guys watch me get, come off my cooldowns and then keep you know keep hitting walls here um which i think actually i should be going this way because i don't want to uh i don't want to have to try to go all the way up the hill here so yeah i'm gonna keep going through here and i will be right back because i want to go see the scarlet monastery outside the map and see what they keep out there so give me one sec here all right guys i am back sorry about that i wanted to get through all the walls so you guys didn't have to watch me just infernal strike infernal strike infernal strike uh, another thing i did was i infernal striked out and then i would also use my pillows in between to help me even move faster so all the way from like right around here to all the way to like up here you're gonna hit an invisible walls just coming in so just keep going eventually you will not hit anymore i hope uh, but I, I seem to be outside the map completely now, so that's good. We're not going to worry about it. But this is super exciting because we're going to go take a look at the Scarlet Monastery up here. Now, I'm trying to keep uh, away from that side over here because I don't want to walk back into bounds and keep hitting walls. I'm praying there's no walls in the Scarlet Monastery either. And I'm hoping that they keep all of it inside. So let's go take a look around. Now, this is awesome, guys. We're in the battle for the order on. If you guys don't remember this, don't worry. Uh, I didn't. I don't think I actually ever did this. Maybe I did. I just don't remember. But here we go. We're in the Scarlet Monastery outside the map. This is so cool. I've never seen a Scarlet Monastery outside of a map before. Did it recognize we're in the Scarlet Monastery? It does. It recognized we're actually in here. Now, I'm curious to see what they keep here and what they don't. Um, so there goes the doors to going to the old Scarlet Monastery. Oh, and none of the... None of the walls are here. Can you actually go in here? Oh, you can. Oh, I'm so scared to walk in there. I feel like that is not solid ground, so we might just fall through. Um, 
let's go see the over here so you have the library of the armory of the cathedral i kind of want to go walk back here just to test it oh it's solid ground wow that's neat you never actually ever get to go back here so this is kind of cool actually so as you can see, they keep all of the Skull and Monastery in the beginning here. Unfortunately, we can't open the doors. That kind of sucks. I would love to get back there. And I don't think there's actually another way back there that I have actually ever discovered. So unless you guys know of another way. Um, look at that. This is so cool. I've never been past the portals before. So that's actually what's back past the portals. Not too much. You give this illusion that you're actually going into somewhere, but you're not. This is pretty neat. I've never seen a Scarlet Monastery outside of a map before. I don't think there actually is another Scarlet Monastery outside of a map, so I think this is the only one, if I'm not mistaken. Unless you guys know of one. This is really awesome, guys. Well, I'm cool. I'm so glad we got to do this. Let's head back out, and let's go take a look around up the hill here. And let's go see what we can find. So they do have everything gone, the tree and all that. Normally you have the graveyard back here. Can we get up the hill? What are we in? Right now we're in... Okay, we're in Vengeance. So I do want to go back to Havoc because it's easier to climb hills with. Especially with um, Bellrush, but that's okay. Alright, we got up there pretty easily. So you guys kind of get a better view here. So you do see that they keep most of all of the Trisfall Glades here. And there's a bunch back there as well. You can see they keep all the scar monastery model out here with the inside now i'll warn you guys um a, may, a lot of you may be wondering you know it's night usually this map is night and i'll tell you you want to bring either an inky black potion or bring a stinky bright potion out here because you're going to hit a fog of war if i do this now we can't see nothing right so now we got to put on our stinky bright potion again, and now we're able to see everything outside the map. So normally you're not supposed to see out here anyways, but because we have the stinky bright potion, we're able to see. We can get a good view of the ships coming in to the harbor. About to put the attack on Lord Aron. And as you can tell, it goes back really far, so I'm super excited to show you guys what's back here. But let's go take a look around. Now we are on the coast of Trisfall Glades. Uh, we're going in the back to towards like um, where are we headed right now? So right now we're in Trisfall Glades. Back here is the Western Plaguelands, and if you keep going up, you got like Eastern Plaguelands, and then the Ghost Land and all that. I don't know how far this actually goes, so let's actually go take a look. Looks like they do keep a lot back here, and here's the back of the monastery as well. This is an exciting OB, guys. I'm really happy to be out here. I'm, I didn't even think about doing scenarios until uh, about a week ago. I was, um, I messaged, uh, I don't remember who it was. Oh, I messaged Hero in the Discord, and I'm like, dude, I think I found a gold mine of OOB videos to do, and uh, I mentioned these scenarios, and I totally forgot about them in the game. But this is just the first of many. You guys already saw the unga ingu scenario that i did in pandaria and there is a ton of other ones to do as well look at all this this is really cool normally there's a bunch of stuff back here if you guys remember uh i believe this is the western plague yeah it's supposed to be herfgalen there's nothing here how cool is that Actually, let's get on our mount, and let's uh, go ride around a little bit. Let's go take a look at what they keep back here in the Western Plaguelands. Excuse me. Need to get a drink for a second. As I'm talking and doing commentary, my lips get really dry quickly. And so does my mouth here, so I'm like trying to keep talking and drinking at the same time <laughs> to keep going. Alright, let's go take a look inside of the Western Plaguelands and let's go see what they keep. I'm curious if they keep Skolomance in here. Um, I don't think they do, but I guess we'll find out, won't we? Alright, let's go take a ride through the... <clears throat> take a ride through the trees here. I love this chopper, by the way. It's one of my favorite mounts in the game. This thing is just sweet looking. 
And my dude looks sweet. My dude looks like he's straight out of like Mad Max movie, huh? Witness. That's what I'm waiting to like jump off the, uh, <laughs> waiting to jump off the car and like jump on. I don't know, I love this transmog too, and these weapons on the back just fits perfectly with it. So cool. Look at that. All right, enough about me and my transmog. I think it looks sweet, but let's go see what they keep here. Now, these look like older model trees back here, if I'm not mistaken. But I know the Western and Eastern playgrounds are pretty old maps in the game to begin with. And I don't think they've ever actually been revamped or touched ever, right? If I'm not mistaken. So a lot of this could be older vanilla trees and all that in the game. I don't know. Maybe someone can correct me here, but let's go take a look here into uh, Ander Hall. And let's go see if they keep anything out here. I don't think they do. Doesn't look like anything's loaded in, which is kind of neat. Which is kind of, I mean, it's kind of neat, but it's kind of sad at the same time. I wish you'd be able to see uh, the buildings here and what it kind of looked like outside the map, but I mean, you could just see that in the game anyways, right? Now, that looks like the edge of the world out there, so I think we have hit the edge of the world. Also, I'm curious to see if we get uh, the uh, statue out here. Let's go take a look. Oh, wait. Oh, what am I doing? Holy moly. I want to go see if the Uther statue's out here. I was going to say, oh, dear. Man, I played way too many years of League of Legends. Uh, now I'm curious if that statue's in the back. So let's go take a look. I want to go see if it's actually here. We did see the statue in my... Um, what was the video I did? The uh, Back in the Caverns of Time. And we did see the statue in there. So the statue might be back here. And maybe. Uh, no, I don't think they keep it, unfortunately. Well, that's sad. I thought they might have. This looks all super empty, though. Because isn't this the, uh, the river going into... So we were here. We went up here. But this looks like this river back here, right? I believe this is that one. So we might actually get to see Skolomance. And uh, whenever I'm doing these videos, you guys can correct me in the comments as well. <laughs> uh, let me know if I'm wrong in certain places, because I could be getting some of these locations wrong. But I thought the Udyr statue... Uther, who oh dear? Now I'm going to keep saying oh dear. Uh, the Uther statue was back here. Oh, okay. This is actually edge of the map over here. Look at that. We've actually hit the edge of the world finally. Okay. So we need to go head out this way then. Well, that's sad. I guess they don't keep Skullmance in the back. That would be kind of neat if they did. Let's go around the mountains here. Now let's go see if we can go back here. This might also be a dead end, but, you know, who knows? Oh, here we go. We got some snow coming up. So this looks like we're going into Alteric Valley. And all the uh, structures are gone from here as well. And you can see Lordaeron in the distance there. That's a really neat shot. Look at that. So they do keep some of the Hillsbrad foothills back here as well. But unfortunately, not too much of uh, the buildings or anything. So they really wanted to focus on the Lordaeron fight and take out all the other resources you don't have to load in. Ooh, that is some bright snow, is it not? Jeez, that's like hurting my eyes. <laughs> No, I don't want to look at it. Alright, let's go get a picture of Lordaeron from the back over here. That 
That's an awesome shot. Look at that. Got to take a screenshot. Now they do keep one little house down here, which is very interesting. I'm surprised. Which, what house would this be? Because you got Lord Ron. So where are we at here? You got Lord Ron, the Undercity. And so we are like right here. So we were in the ruins of Alterac. We're in the uplands and we got Dandrin's Fold. So that's where we're at, Dandrin's Fold. All right, so it's just a normal house with creepy music in it, like always. I don't know why they always put the creepiest music in these houses. I never understood that, what that decision-making was. Like the default house music. They're like, you know what? Instead of putting beautiful music that people can enjoy, we're going to put default scary house music in every single one of them. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't understand that decision. But uh, not my game, so I don't know. I didn't have the choice in that. Now let's go across the lake here and let's go take a look over at um, Fenris Isle. Let's go see what they keep of uh, Silver Pine Forest as well. I'm so glad. Man, I, I love the uh, inflatable mount shoes. That is like my favorite thing in the world for OBs. You can just walk across the water and everything. That's so nice. You don't have to uh, sit there and swim or anything. I just think that's like one of the best inventions in this game right here. Now we do all have all of this to explore over here too, so that's exciting. But let's go take a look and see what they keep in Fenris Isle. All right, so we go through the front gates. And all the buildings seem to be gone on the side. Normally there's a building over here. Uh, can we get up here is the question. There we go. Can we go in here? We can, and it changes too. It changes to Silver Pine 4, so if we were to die, we would actually end up in Silver Pine. That's interesting. Can we walk all the way up? We can. Yep, we can. Huh, neat. So now you guys know what's back here. Really cool. Can we go up to the very tippy top? Let's see. I think we can. Looks like it's letting us. Yep, we can, and we're outside again. Oh, look at that. They keep the uh, undead... Thing outside of the map here. So there goes Silver Pine Force. Let's go see these structures outside the map real quick. Now I do got to be careful as I don't want to, um, I don't want to go back in the map. So we do got to be careful where we're going. We do go back in. That's okay. We can always just, um, you know, fernal strike out, but they do keep some of the undead stuff here. Now this normally you're not supposed to see, right? Because it's supposed to be covered by the fog of war. But it's interesting that they kept these uh, undead structures back here. And there's actually a really big smoke and mirror effect of the uh, war that's going on. So one thing I did love about this scenario is because we're in a war, you know, the battle for Lord Ron, Um You hear like bombs and gunfire and... You know, all this stuff going on in the background like you would normally in a war, so... Kind of neat to see and hear the ambience in this map. Alright, let's go take a look into Silver Pine Forest, and let's go see what they keep back here. As you guys can tell, we're outside of the map. We're coming down right here. We're just about to get out. There we go. We are officially outside. We are nowhere to be found now. Trying to turn my camera as much as possible to give you guys a great view of everything that I'm seeing. And showing off my sweet bike. So 
it's a win-win. All right, let's go see what they keep up the trail. Now, I don't know if they keep at all going into... I wonder if they keep uh, Shadowfang Keep at all back here. That would be kind of neat. But I think Shadowfang Keep is a lot farther in Silver Pine Forest, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, this might be the Silver Pine Forest. Let's see. Where are we at in Silver Pine? So we're... No, okay. Shadowfin Keep would be way down here. Right now, I think this is the specular, or whatever it's called, going up into here. So yeah, they don't keep Shadowfin Keep. This is just the edge of the world, unfortunately. Alright, so now you guys know what's up here, though. Here's the edge of the world. Wow, they do keep a lot back there, though. Let's go take a look. And I like that you can swim in this, too, which is really neat. You don't just DC. Uh, let's see here. Where are we going to get up? Oh, we can get up right over here. Yeah, there we go. Right, let's get back on our bike. And we got cliffs here, but we're a demon hunter. We should be okay. All right, let's go glide down here and check out the beach. Wow, they actually keep a lot outside the map. More than I thought they would. So right now, we would be around this area right here. That's my guess. Yeah, right around here. So let's get back on our bike. And let's go head up north here. Let's go see what they keep up this way. Um, I think I'm going to drop a scenario every Saturday. S for Saturday, S for scenario. So I think that would be a good schedule uh, to release these on. So that uh, you guys have something to look like forward to even over the weekend. You want to watch another video. Um... So every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday is will be my normal rate of upload. And that's kind of what I've been doing anyways lately. Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays. Um, and then Monday, Sunday, I kind of take a break. Um, and actually, well, I film. <laughs> but I take a break to of uploading so I can start the week out fresh and don't have to worry about uh, the uploading schedule. So... Yeah, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, expect a video, always, for me. And so that's three videos a week. Sometimes I may only do two. We'll see how tired or how busy I might be during that week with work full-time and being married full-time. and Just got a lot of things going on sometimes, so. All right, let's go get over these mountains here, and let's go jump into this way. So right now, where are we currently on the map? So we, we jumped over the mountain. Oh, okay, we're going into the Def... Oh, we're actually in Def Canal, aren't we? Isn't this the undead starting zone right here? Yeah, because this is normally where the, the start... Yeah, actually, we're in Def Canal. Oh, sweet, okay. I did not realize that. That is awesome. So we are actually in the undead starting zone. If I'm not mistaken... And it's because it's weird not seeing all the things here. Yeah, this is the oh sweet. Okay. Wow, this is awesome. I never thought we could get into the undead starting zone without everything being here. This is sweet. So this is what normally everything looks like. Now, this actually looks like an older version of the map, too. So this looks more like classic vanilla type undead starting zone. Because I don't think this is normally it's usually a lot different, right? I mean, I know the buildings aren't here, but this looks like to be like an older version of Trisfall Glade or Trisfall Glades, yeah. And then here goes normally where the spider it was the cave over here still. Curious to see if the cave's over here. I kind of remember the undead starting zone. I think the cave might be gone though. Uh yeah, normally the cave is supposed to be like right here that you go into, but it looks like they took it out. Oh, that's really neat. 
Well, this is freaking sweet. I have never thought I'd ever be in the undead starting zone in an OB. You know, I've been waiting for a long time to do an OB on the Eastern um, Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor. I mean, you have little ones here and there, right? But I've never seen an OB where you actually get this much of that. Uh, so it's really neat to see this. And an older version of it, too. This is freaking awesome. Okay. Oh, cool. This is a lot more than I thought would be out here, guys. Uh, let's go over the mountain here, and I want to see if we can get into that, um, this place right here in the back where they keep the water. I want to see if the water's back there. And actually, I want to see if the cave's there, too. From the, uh... I don't remember what it's called. I did a video on it. Look at that. All Trisfall Glades. Normally, this is one of the early quests you do. Remember with the farms and you come over here and kill the... Uh... I don't remember what it is exactly, but... Well, we don't have to head all the way back there. I believe there is water back there, so nothing too special. But they do keep the water and stuff up there, if I remember correctly. Well, let's actually go head out this way. and Let's go see more of Trisfall Glades. So we're actually going back into the map here. So as you can tell, we just landed. So if we go over here, we're going to hit walls. So let's actually go head into the battle here. And let's go see if we can actually get behind Lordaeron and jump in. That's what I'm kind of curious about now. So let's go drive back through Trisfall Glades. And let's go see how far we can get in the battle without getting stuck in the wall. If we do get stuck in the wall, I will... Um, Fernal Strike back in and I'll cut the video because I don't want you to have to watch you guys watch me do all that. But this is what Trisfall Glade looks like in daytime normal without any building. So kind of neat to see everything. They do keep the house and the bridge over there. And uh, let's go get behind everything here. So I'm going to head out this way. Oh, we just hit a wall. So I think we're going to hit walls now. Might not be too many of them, though. Let's see if we can get past them. If there is a lot, uh, I will end up cutting the video for you guys. Okay. About to run out of pillows here, though. Oh, yeah, some random guild invited me. And I just... I accept every guild I get, and then I just leave them eventually. <laughs> so, uh, I've been trying to start an all-things nerd guild. Which we have a cross realm one that uh, Submerge has started on the ATN community. So we need to join that. But anyways, guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to go through these walls. Give me one sec. All right, guys, we are back again. And we're going to end this video by flying into Lordaeron. Now, as you can see, Lordaeron keep from the back here. They don't actually keep all of the undead stuff going on from the war. So as you can tell, look at all of this is gone. It's all unloaded. Nothing's back here. Now that may be just because we're far away, I don't know, but let's go fly in there and let's go take a look. Let's go into Lorder on here. This is cool. I'm hoping an invisible wall or something doesn't stop us. I don't think it should. Nope. So far we're doing good. Awesome, here we go. Alright, we made it in. We are on the backside of Lorder on right now. This is really cool. Alright. Uh, don't have a target. Where's our bike? Oh wait, we don't have our bike on this one. Alright, we can use our Back to the Future board here. Now, they do keep all the undead, like, military equipment back here. Which is kind of neat. And here goes the graveyard. Can we fly in there? Yeah, we can. Awesome. Look at the little statue. And I love the golden lion and then the regular lion. Let's go walk into the garden here. Let's go see if we can actually get in the Undercity. That's what I'm curious to see.
Now, what we may want to do is actually get on top of the wall. And then, um, fly over in. Because I don't think we can get in just normally. Maybe, though. Uh, let's get on our back to the future board here. Well, there are some stairs leading up into the castle. But what we might be able to do... Let's just do this here. There we go. I think we can just fly above here. Yep. And you guys can see the orb. We are officially in the ruins of Lordaeron. This is really awesome. Check that out. Alright, let's go take a look this way. We are in the middle of the action here. Normally you're supposed to do the scenario and do all that, but we skipped all of it. So let's go straight down to the city here. If we can. Oh, everything's locked. Mm, might not be able to. Can we swim? My question. Check this out. We got like a secret passage here. Oh, that just leads us back into here. Okay. Ooh, we got like missiles getting shot at us right now. And I think we're trapped in here until we get back out, so... Well, anyways, guys, that is what's outside of the Lordaeron, the uh, scenario, the battle for Lordaeron. If you guys want to come check this place out, I highly recommend you do. Uh, make sure to bring a stinky bright potion or a inky black potion that will uh, turn off the fog of war so you can go explore outside the map. And remember, if you go this way or you go this way, you're going to hit a bunch of walls. So just keep going. Eventually, you'll stop hitting walls like right around here and you'll stop hitting walls like right around here and uh, you're freely to go explore the map. So thank you guys for always tuning into the channel. Love you guys so much and all the support you guys show the ATN, uh, all things nerd channel. I wouldn't be here without you guys and your views and your comments and the ATN discord and the community in there. And you guys just are an awesome crowd and I just want to say thank you so much. So anyways, guys, as always, my name is Nathan. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.